This video is going to be very fucking serious. Despite that shit I just did. Okay, um, so you guys got to stop watching porn, okay? It's not good for you. Everyone knows this. Hey, Iceberger, what's going on? Or is this a Christian channel now? You fucking lame or everyone watches porn, you dumb idiot. All right, man, that's okay. I understand. Click off the video and go jerk off. For the rest of you here, if you care about not wasting any, you know, your lifetime brain on porn, just let me, uh, let me just explain some stuff and I'm going to link, I'm going to link a bunch of stuff in, in the description to help out. So, um, like most men, young men, uh, I do have a history with pornography as well. Um, started when I was like, you know, super young, like most, because the access is there in various ways. Um, yeah, over time, porn just kind of fucks your brain up in many, many ways. It actually works so surprisingly similar to social media in terms of just the constant dopamine endorphins and kind of needing to do more, to do more and get more of it. It's rem remarkably similar. Um, so most people use it because it's like, you know, our, our brains haven't evolved that, that much over the last thousands of years. It's still like, Oh, look, there's a mate. Oh, I'm excited. That kind of thing. But with the internet and all that stuff, you can get that same feeling. Your brain can get that. Ex excitement like just rapid fire crazy so when that happens same similar to other other stuff your 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 dopamine receptors kind of get fried and it kind of gets easier to it's easier to mess them up as you go along basically there's these these brain circuit pathways whatever they get kind of lubed up every time you kind of watch that stuff so it's easier to just fall back into it do what you do and then be done whatever a lot of people like it because it's fun and it feels good when you're done but you know that that joke everyone has oh it's so fun but when you're done you see a black screen you see your your shameful face haha <laughs> yeah ha <laughs> so what happens is people use it to you know feel feel good essentially is is the point right um it's not really feeling good though there's an example there's this this book i'm gonna link like some stuff one of the books one of the most important ones is called the easy peasy method which is basically a rewrite of this book about quitting smoking which kind of lays out what this activity does what kind of benefits there are what it means for your brain and what you should be doing going forward if you care about moving on from it and this book there's this example i don't know if it's from the original smoking version too but basically the example is watching porn to get relief is essentially like wearing shoes that are too tight all day so then at the end of the day you can take them off and go like ah i feel so relieved and you put them on next morning to be too tight feel annoyed and then take them off at the end of the day and just ah relief what would feel better is not putting those shoes on in the first place right but that's kind of what these 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 uh circuit pathways do you lube them up you make it easier to get into this rhythm where if you feel the need to do this kind of stuff you're anxious and you feel relief when you jerk off or whatever right it's not really relief though it's just essentially it's a distraction from the stress that was caused by the porn to begin with so it's this cycle that just kind of never ends and it's uh it's not good it increases the stress instead of helping with it um some people use it to deal with boredom 
again, it's a similar thing. You kind of fry your ability to feel good in, in everyday life so that normal things just become kind of boring. I'm realizing I mentioned a bunch of this stuff like in passing in my previous videos, but you know, it's all relevant here. Essentially, you make everything seem boring by just giving your brain like, oh my God, the, the, the mates that fit my brain exactly 100%, oh my God, all the time. I mean, sh shit, how the fuck is your caveman brain going to deal with that? It's going to be like, hey, everything else is kind of boring. Let's let's check that out again, you know? Um, so it's not that people use it to... People use it to deal with boredom, but it actually causes that as well, along with causing stress, like I just said. And some people feel like they use it to deal with uh, or to give themselves relaxation. Again, it's more like a distraction from the stress that you had from using that stuff in the first place. So you see where I'm going with this. It kind of causes stuff mentally in the brain and habit-wise that make you feel not good until you do it again and then you feel good for a bit and then it kind of builds up and then blah 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 so it's uh it's not um it's not a good cycle to be on all right another book that has very valuable information on this is the freedom model which is about addiction in general, mostly about drinking, but it applies to, to anything. The concepts apply to absolutely everything. Like I mentioned before, most people do this kind of stuff because it makes them happy or what have you. That's the thing with most addictions. Addiction is kind of a weird, kind of a weird thing. It's kind of not, say with me, it's kind of not a thing because, I mean, if you, if you have like, I don't know, if you were, like, on heroin for, like, a week straight, I think, yeah, there might be, like, an actual thing. But addictions, if you think about it, like, if you love fucking jerking off or whatever, right, you love doing it all the time in your free time, right? But if you can go to Six Flags or something, get the super pass, no, wait in no waiting in line, you can go on roller coasters all the time, you're not going to be like, oh, man, I wish I could jerk off right now. Or if you're... Let's say your your grandparents come to visit, you have to sleep in the living room or whatever. You're like, oh man, I'm 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 addicted though. I'm gonna jerk off anyway, right in the living room. It's not like that. You can you can stop for a bit, right? So it's not like a, a mental compulsion that you need to do. It's more like, as as said in the freedom model, it's something that will would make you happiest in the moment. Now in, in the moment, you probably what would make you happy is not is not jerking off. <laughs> In the living room while your parents while your grandparents are over there right so that that's the thing when you when you're alone or whatever you can do it though that will make you happiest in the moment so it is about context right you're not like forced and cursed to do this all the time it's within a certain context so what you need to do is kind of check out these books and think about what would make you happiest in the moment make a list of benefits of using like 10 years in the future, 20 years in the future. What are the benefits if I used porn every day? What does that look like 10 years from now? What if I reduced quite a bit? What would that look like 10 years from now? What if I stopped entirely 10 years from now? What does all that look like? What are the pros and cons? Which of those paths would make you the happiest actually? Look at it from your own logical perspective. And I just want to say the worst possible thing, the worst case scenario, if you, if you stop, if you stop using porn, the worst case scenario, the worst thing that will happen to you is nothing, nothing. That is the worst case scenario. Nothing. I mean, yeah, when you stop, when you go, when you go through this stuff and you stop, you'll feel a little like, you know. Oh, wow, I used to have these habits. I'm kind of used to it. You know, I feel the voice, but for like a couple of weeks. But after that, honestly, it's not a thing that you, that you care about anymore. It's really not. I'm going to link the books. I highly recommend you check them out. Um, if not, have fun jerking it, buddy.